What's up, everybody? Let's talk Jets Radio. A crushing defeat. Jets lose 20 to 17 to the Detroit Lions. Fourth and one, under two minutes. A chance for the Jets defense to close it out. And not only do they give up the first down, they give up the touchdown. And, you know, as I was leaving the game, there were a ton of people that were just killing the Jets defense. You know, I genuinely felt like, you know, that was a, a, a glimpse back towards, you know, the, the Rex Ryan days where the defense would play great for, you know, three quarters, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and then that last drive would always get them. It felt a lot like that. Um, but even still, I, I can't sit here right now as well as the defense played. Didn't give up a touchdown up until, you know, that, that final two minutes. Didn't give up a touchdown for 58 minutes throughout the game. You have the, the one punt that's returned for a touchdown. The, uh, the Zach Wilson interception that set up, uh, you know, the Lions in good field position. Just, you know, too many mistakes and, and not enough urgency to, to capitalize on the chances that they did have. I'm um, sorry, I, I barely have a voice right now. I'm trying to talk, but... This is tough, man. This is tough. You know, I, I said during the week, if, if there was a game that you had to lose, this was the one to lose because, you know, the, the two AFC games you got to win, the Seahawks game, that could still be, a, you know, a deciding game as far as tiebreakers go with common opponents with the Chargers. So all three of those other games have a lot of meaning. But, you know, this one with the Lions, you could still see a path to the playoffs if the Jets lose it. So it's not that the season's over, but certainly you, you go from 6-3 and three now to 7-7. Seven and seven. You've lost four out of five. You know, you have total chaos at the quarterback position. You know, who knows if Mike White's going to be ready for Thursday night. I can just say from, from watching the offense, watching the, the receivers coming off the field, th th there's a problem here with Zach. You know, we, we can look at the numbers and say, all right, you know, that, that's a nice improvement. You know, he had some nice chunk plays in there, some plays downfield, you know, some third and long, some fourth and long, some, some big plays where he was clutch, and I'll, I'll give him that. You know, he shows you more mobility. He extends some plays. He does some good things. But it, it, it's been the same problem that we've been talking about since, you know, his, his first start pretty much where those easy throws that should be gimmies, that should keep the offense on the field, sustain drives, time of possession, all those things that we've had with Mike White, We've had at times with Joe Flacco. We've had at times with Josh Johnson. We never seem to have that with Zach Wilson. And it, it's all over the receivers' faces when they're coming off the field. Their heads are down. They're frustrated. They're pissed off that they're not getting the ball in situations where they're open and they feel like they can make a play to help the team win. It's on Elijah Moore's face. It's on Garrett Wilson's face. There, there are too many of these throws where still, like, he just doesn't put any touch on it. He doesn't see guys that are open flat out misses them with inaccurate throws, you know, it, it's been too long of this shit. It's been way too long of this shit. And again, I, I'll, I'll give him some credit for making some big time throws down the stretch. You know, he, he, he almost had you with the chance to win it at the end. I mean, if Zerline hits that field goal, you go to overtime, who knows what happens, but it was, it was too little too late at that point. You know, and I'm, I'm not even going to rip the time of possession. I, I, I kind of understand where Salah was coming from. You have three timeouts. You got 25 seconds. You know, you need a couple first downs there. You, know, you could stop the ball. Uh, sorry, you could stop the clock at any time. I, I didn't really have much of an issue with him uh, preserving the, the timeouts right there. But just being that close, having a chance to close it out at the end after you came back, man, that's heartbreaking. And again, if this was just, you know, one of, you know, two or three losses over the past couple weeks, you'd probably get over it a little bit quicker. But the fact that now you've lost four out of five and everything's kind of just in disarray and in chaos, who, who knows where the season goes from here? Who knows if Mike White's ready for Thursday night, if, you know, if we see him again, or if this is Zach's show for the rest of the year. Um, either way, I, I think the Jets definitely have some, uh, some issues that they got to sort out. Um, I'll, again, I'll, I'll give credit to the defense. They played their hearts out today. They, they, give, they gave the team a, a legitimate chance to win out there. The offense just didn't make enough plays. And when they did, you know, again, it was, it was chunk plays. And, you know, they got down the field quick, but they just they didn't have those, those sustained drives. They didn't have any easy plays in the playbook. The, the run game was pretty much non-existent once again when Zach Wilson's out there because I don't, I don't think teams fear the running game. When Zach's out there, they, they want him to throw the ball. They're going to stack the box. They're going to take away the run, and they're going to force it on Zach. And, you know, unfortunately, he just he didn't make enough plays today. Uh, I know the yards were there, but the, the interception was brutal. 
the, the missed throws towards the end, some of those were brutal, even though he made up for it a few times with some big plays, uh, like I said, on third and fourth and long. But, you know, it was just it, it was too inconsistent, and it was too much of what we've already seen from Zach. There was no rhyme, no rhythm to the offense. Guys just didn't look comfortable. They didn't make enough plays, period. So uh, another winnable game. That, that's four out of five, really. You can make a case for them to win. You want to give Buffalo, you know, the win on the road, you know, that's fine. But both those Patriot games, we wish we could have back. The Viking game, I know we all wish we could have back. And then obviously this one. So tough string of events here. But you still got an opportunity. Three games, chance to go make the playoffs. Go win three games. So talk to you guys later. Have a good night.